Today I'm going to be doing an oil change on a 2023 Ford Bronco Sport with a 1.5 liter engine. First I'll go over the parts and tools I have. Check the description for any details on the stuff I'm using here, whether it be the tools or the oil or the filter. I'll link it all in the description below. Because I'm doing this on a lift, I've got a drain pan like this. Any drain pan will work. Of course, if you're not on a lift, you do not need a tall one like this. So the main thing that you're gonna need, of course, is the oil and the filter. I've got six quarts of oil. This is gonna take 5.3, and I've got a filter over there. I also have a funnel. I've got a driver with a, 30, a T30 Torx bit on it. You do not need to use a driver, but there's like a dozen fasteners under there. So this is just gonna speed the job up. And then I've got a, a trim clip tool here, another part that you don't, or a tool you don't need, this specific one. A screwdriver will work, but I'll link that in the description. And then I've got a pliers. We're probably gonna want this for the oil drain plug. It is not a traditional bolt, and they can be done by hand, but a lot of times they're a little bit tight, so a pliers will make it a little easier. Let's get this thing up in the air. The first thing I'm going to do under here is I'm going to release the two plastic clips. There's one on either side in the front corners. So we're going to use our trim fastener tool for that. We'll zoom in on the second one. So you just put this in the two slots, squeeze it, and pull it out. Then we'll grab our driver with the T30 bit, and we're going to zip out all of these fasteners all the way around here. Now that we've got all the fasteners out, we've got a couple of points it's hooking on. One is right in the back here, right in the center. And so if we kind of pull it forward and to the side, we can unhook that and get the panel right out. Now that we've got the panel out, we can get to our drain plug here. It's not a traditional bolt. So sometimes you can do these by hand. Sometimes they're really tight. I've grabbed the pliers here and we're gonna turn it counterclockwise. We'll break it free and then I can do it the rest of the way by hand and it's gonna start coming out as I twist it. So be careful when you're doing this. And it's probably gonna come out pretty fast. So we'll slowly pull it out. And there you go. We've got it down to just a dribble. So we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the drain plug. Twist it until it hits the locking tabs. Next, we're gonna take the oil filter off. Chances are this is not gonna be something I can do by hand. It's on there nice and tight. So we're gonna grab a filter wrench. One additional tool I forgot to mention is an oil filter wrench. And we'll turn it counterclockwise. Make sure you have your drain pan ready. This is actually a really accessible filter. This works out great for the filter wrench. Sometimes they're buried in there and you can't swing the wrench. This one was very easy. We'll go the rest of the way by hand. And there the oil goes. And you want to make sure that the original gasket comes out with the filter as well. You don't want to double gasket it. There we go, and there's our gasket and filter. We've got a new filter with some fresh oil put on the gasket. We'll get this up here, spin it on. And I'm going to tighten it down pretty tight. I used to be annoyed with filters that were on tight. As you saw, the original one was definitely on tight. Uh, one time on my own vehicle, I went to change the oil and the filter just spun right off. I hardly touched it. That scared me a little bit and I thought I'd rather have to put a filter wrench on it than have a filter fall off and ruin an engine because I lost all the oil cruising down the highway. So I've changed my tune on that. And so we've got this tightened down pretty good. You of course don't wanna put a wrench on it to tighten it, but you can go pretty tight by hand and just of course reach for the filter wrench next oil change around. Now we can reinstall the cover. We'll tuck it up in the front first slide it back and then we'll get this little tab 
We'll, we'll try our best to do it opposite is how we took it apart. We'll push that little point up in there, got it latched, and now we can get the screws in. I'm gonna actually start with the plastic clips on the corners. And then these, once you push it in, you just push the head of it back down in and that'll lock it in place. We'll grab all the screws. I usually like to start all of them before I tighten any down. And that way all the holes will for sure line up or you can move it if they don't. And now that we've got them all started, I'm gonna go and finish tightening them down. This tool is massively overrated for this job. So I'm gonna be very delicate with it. Uh, it wouldn't even be bad to do it by hand if that's what you're doing, you're already set. But I'm just gonna make sure I take it easy because I could totally just tear stuff out by running this thing full blast. Now we're ready to drop this thing back to the ground. Now that we've got it back down on the ground, we're gonna open up the driver's door and we're gonna release the hood here. You can see right here, two times for hood release. One and two. It doesn't have the traditional hood release, so two times in there, and then we can open this up and we can put the prop rod up against the hood. You can see on the oil cap, it says SAE 5W20. So that's the oil we're gonna be using. We've got our funnel in here, and now we're gonna take our five quart jug and we're gonna dump the entire thing in. We're gonna dump an additional 0.3 quarts in. Now we're going to take the funnel out of here, put the oil cap back on. Inside the vehicle, I'm gonna step on the brake and hit the start button. We'll start it up and let it run for just a couple seconds here. We'll shut it off. Now we'll be able to get a good level check on it in a few seconds. In the meantime, without stepping on the brake, I'm gonna hit the ignition button. We're gonna use these buttons here. We're gonna scroll up to information. So we hit the okay up once. That got us, we'll go back down again so you can see that. We hit once up. That got us to the information screen. We're gonna click the menu button. Then we're gonna scroll down to oil life. Click okay. 60% remaining. They wanted to do a pretty short oil change interval on this since it's brand new. I'm gonna hold down the okay button to reset the oil life. Successfully reset, 100%. We can hit the back arrow to exit out of this. And now we'll shut off the ignition. Back under the hood, we're gonna pull the oil dipstick. We'll wipe it off. Reinsert it. Pull it out again and confirm that we've got it up to the correct level. Now we can close the hood. And now that we've confirmed the oil level is correct, we're good to go and ready to send this thing down the road. Thanks for watching.